you know, talking about neither too high when things are going well, nor too low when things are are not going too well. I remember I ended up getting a, a, a golden piece of advice from a Goldman Sachs partner during my Goldman Sachs days. And I still remember this was during my time working on Goldman's uh, trading floor. When I was in the sales and trading division, this was my first role at Goldman before I actually moved over to the private side to the investment banking division. And naturally, you know, I'm working at Goldman Sachs in New York headquarters, the best of the best. This is like the sharpest clawed beast on Wall Street, Goldman bloody Sachs coming out of college in New York. And uh, I had these high expectations of what life on a trading floor at Goldman Sachs is going to be like. But it just so happened, like the team that I was working on uh, or the, the work that I was doing, I wasn't quite enjoying And so I waited for about six months, eight months, thinking that, you know, it's too early to actually make like a judgment call, whether I should switch to some other role, maybe let's stick it out. But I was confused because there were times that I can't handle this. I'll I'll need some sort of change, either move to a different company or move to a different role within the same company within Goldman Sachs. uh, And there was this partner at Goldman Sachs who was assigned as my mentor at Goldman. You know, when you first come in as a first year, you get assigned like these buddies and mentors who can guide you because clearly they're a lot more experienced than you are, even though your name might be Anubhav. They're clearly a lot more Anubhavi than than you are. And I remember him telling me, he said, listen, Anubhav, regardless of whether you make a decision to stay in the, the, the team that you're currently working in or you decide to switch, make the decision when you're feeling neutral here between the years. Don't make a decision when you're feeling very happy or when you're feeling very dejected. Because he said, if you're feeling very happy, say for instance, you've had like a a stellar day at the office. Maybe on that day, you know, it was one of those rare days when you actually enjoyed work. You might now end up getting carried away and think that, no, life is good, life is rosy, let me stay here. Although that, that one good day that you had might actually be an outlier. It might be an aberration. It might be a stark outlier. But he also said that, look, don't make a decision when you've had a pathetic day because just like sometimes you can end up getting carried away by positive emotions, you can also end up getting carried away by negative emotions as well. And so even though there might be a potential for you to turn a corner and for things to improve because you've had a shitty day, you'll be more likely to call it quits and completely change. So he said, you know, on a day when you feel neutral, balanced, centered here, yeah, that's when you'll end up making the best decision because you'll be neither too high nor too low. And I think since then, that piece of advice is something that I that I recall, that I think of whenever I'm actually faced with a big decision and when I feel emotions, positive as well as negative, might be getting the better of me. It really pains me to say this, but the beautiful girl who was a part of this video has left the set. But the silver lining is that I've got something equally beautiful. Who the fuck am I kidding? Not equally beautiful, but nearly as beautiful in her stead, which is my ebook, The Art of Breaking into Investment Banking, How I Landed My Dream Job at Goldman Sachs. If you're an investment wanker like I was when I was in college, in other words, if you jerk off to the idea of one day becoming an investment banker, then this book will help convert your fantasy into a reality. Because why just fantasize about it when you can actually live it? If you're looking for one-on-one time with me, not in a sexual way, because I'm no longer single, sucks to suck, then email me at anubhavjain0712 at gmail.com for us to schedule a one-on-one counseling session. Please note that there's a price that's attached to these sessions that we can mutually decide upon depending upon what your very specific needs are. Let me tell you that this is what puts food on my table. And so in the event that you email me asking me, Anubhav, pro bono, my answer to you will be no bono. All the very best, guys. Cheers.